It works! It works! Heilige Scheiße! At least, it did work. Uh, I just updated the code in the Arduino quite a bit, mostly doing cleanup and stuff. But for all I know, I might have broken it. So we'll test it and find out. What we've got here is the uh, proof of concept, anyway, for my Arduino-based uh, Torchlight controller for the CNC Plasma machine. Right there, we have a little Arduino Nano on this homebrew PCB. That's reading the arc voltage off the plasma cutter here, and then sending signals to Linux CNC and the THCUD HAL component to make the torch move up and down. Now, don't worry too much about the specifics here yet. Uh, I'll cover all that in a few more videos, uh, you know, going over it all in much more detail. Uh, doing one for the uh, PCB in the schematic itself, another for the code running on the Arduino, uh, another for the stuff that didn't work and the things I learned so you can learn from my mistakes, and then finally going over how to configure HAL to make your Linux CNC install do what you want. Now those uh, HAL videos were ones I meant to do like two months ago, <laughs> probably, but uh, yeah, other stuff got in the way and this is high priority. So, you know, you can deal with it. Uh, it is gonna finally happen now though, so um, you know, stay tuned for that. And if I've already shot those videos by the time you're watching this one, uh, they will be in the general CNC build playlist for which a link is down in the description below. Uh, yeah, so in brief, the keys to making this thing work were to get a better power supply, because apparently that matters uh, a lot, <laughs> uh, then also make it dumber and make it faster. So the code running in the Arduino is rather stupid now. Just very simple comparison to set point and sending signals for up or down. No fancy PID loop or anything like that. Uh, the matching HAL component on Linux CNC that actually sends the uh, stepper pulses to make the thing go up and down is similarly simplistic. So what we got then is a little bit of a tendency for this guy to kind of like zigzag up and down as it uh, overshoots and then has to turn back around as it reads the arc voltage. But that's really um, in the standard as far as height control on DID DIY plasma builds go. And I found by making it just generally a much faster um, processing, you know, on the Arduino and sending, you know, signals faster, making it more responsive, we can minimize the amplitude of that zigzag and still make it work pretty great, right? As long as it's not going like up and down, but it's little up downs like that, that's fine. And it's definitely far, far better than the manual height control I was doing before with the uh, controller over here. And uh, best of all, it's automatic, so I don't have to sit there and watch it. It'll just do it itself. Ah, that's the best part. Anyway, so what we got uh, over here is my, uh, let's see, uh, web connection. So I can look at the screen for that on my laptop here. It's just a, a Wi-Fi VNC thing. Uh, but we got the uh, Pi VCP panel for Linux CNC. Got a couple LEDs here that light up when it's getting the signal for up and down. Uh, two settings I can adjust, uh, one for the speed that the thing is moving at, and another one for uh, disabling it when it goes around corners and the thing slows down. Uh, and then on the Arduino, there's a little dial for setting the, um, the voltage set point for the machine. That currently is not set up with the, uh, the computer, the two independent things entirely. Maybe in time I'll have it set up with some, you know, um, Optocouple connected uh, USB connection, whatever for serial and all that crap. But for now, proof of concept, this is working. Let me show you. So I've already uh, set this plate up, gotten it squared up with the uh, you know guys on there now, um, and I've tested the start point and end point and found they're about 18 thou apart. So as this runs, we should uh, see by the end of the cut uh, the. Z height has changed by about 18 thou back on the Pi VCP panel. So we'll be able to see the voltage readings down there. I guess you won't really be able to see that because the camera won't focus the plastic bag, but at least I can see it. And now the power supply over there is kicking on and making all that fan noise. Hopefully it doesn't pick up too badly in the video because I'm shooting this anyway. Uh, anyway, got the reading there, the lights on Pi VCP, and then also, so you can tell how the uh, high controller is working, I have a very, uh, very advanced indicator up here to uh, show you how the Z is uh, moving. So, I think that's all plasma's on, ground clamp there, 
uh, safety squints, and let it rip. So we'll do a probe first, pull back up, do the cut. You can see there's a little bit of back and forth on that flag there. You can see there was some back and forth, but not that much. And it is still just a nice little height above right there. And if we come back to Linux CNC, sure enough, it's uh, 19 thou off. So I measured 18 before by uh, just probing at the beginning and probing at the end. I saw it was 18 thou apart. And here the uh, torch right controller said it'd be 19 thou. So um yeah that's basically right in the money uh and yeah there's a little bit of turning there but overall those oscillations were not that much i think this uh lead screw is like 18 tpi uh so when you think about you know how many uh thousands of an inch you're moving with that little waiver it's not much now as for uh calibrating this i did find that my voltage readings were different from what hypertherm suggested on their uh their cut charts that's probably just because, uh, you know, I'm going to have some drift in my readings and all that. So I'll have to calibrate my uh, torture controller to, um, you know, what their, uh, well, either make it so that my thing reads closer to their charts or just make new charts that match with what my thing reads. <laughs> probably the rattle take, you know, during that second one. Um, so basically you do a whole bunch of test cuts just back and forth and see which one looks the best and then keep using that, right? Because it looks good. It is good. And uh, one other thing I've done to get a slightly better idea of what settings to use is to do a cut and then come back in with some index cards. Just as a bit of a, a feeler gauge here. All right, so you can see that's about the, the thickness of it. Maybe I take one card away. And I can measure this with calipers and get a better idea of how high exactly that is. And I found that I need to set my uh, torch light controller about five or six volts less than what Hypertherm's uh, charts would say. And that gets me both the best quality cut and also gets the torch at the height that Hypertherm recommends. So, yeah, works like a hot damn. Now, I think for one of the tests, for fun, I'm just gonna prop this up and then uh, see how it does. So I've not done anything too crazy just yet so let's see g0 z0.05 move that back up g0 x0 y 0 0.3 and then if i zero this bitch out again there we go and then one sec take a piece of inch thick plate And I dropped that in the water. <laughs> One sec. The uh, plate here kind of stuck to the uh, slats from the plasma cutting. I got a fish in that. Oh, great. Just great. Great, great. Oh, gross. Okay. There we go. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> so now we have this up on about a one inch incline over roughly a foot. So definitely far, far more than uh, we're going to see in practice. And I think that'll cut, yeah, right beside the next line. So now if uh, move this roughly in position, looks good. And we'll... Give her a go again and see if you can follow that much of a slope. This time the flag should turn mostly in one direction because it has to go up that incline.
Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's definitely closer. And in fact, ah, uh, shit. Ah, shit. Well, that one, as you saw, it uh, was hitting the plate, in fact. So I should uh, bump that up right now. Let's see, get that off there. <laughs> I guess the, uh, the amount of slope that I had was a bit too steep. I done it up to a quarter inch before, not yet an inch. But, uh, let's see, bump it up a bit more. Yeah, now it's clear off of that. Okay, so, yep, I lost the cut right there. Damn. It held on so long though, shit. <laughs> so I think if I come back here and then change this uh, correction amount, the, uh, the rate at which uh, each signal that Linux CNC gets, uh, it adjusts to Z, then that should uh, fix that problem. So come back to there, okay. Now if I bump this up by, uh, let's make it 20. Uh, there we go. Then if I zero out the X and Y again, drop the Z nearer to the plate. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna watch it a bit more carefully and be at the e-stop to slap that if uh, stuff goes awry again, because I was not paying close enough attention. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay. Come on, come on. God, that air purge goes for so long. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> well, you can see it's just barely above the plate now. It definitely is not the uh, recommended uh, 60 thou above it, but it did manage to keep up with the slope with, you might have seen a little bit of waiver in that, but uh, yeah, overall, shit. I mean, for an inch of slope over about a foot, that is uh, far more than we're ever really going to see on uh, you know on this table here. So I'm called a success, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.